This is Philip Caetano da Costa with the news on Zodiac. The headlines at this hour. President Chagrera is scheduled to appear in Parliament Wednesday next week to take questions on his State of the Nation address. Zodiac establishes that over 600 COVID-19 samples that Minister of Health sent to South Africa early this month only arrived there Monday 17 May. In four weeks of sales, Malawi realizes 27 billion kwacha after selling 20 million kilograms of all types of tobacco. In sports, Malawi hosts African individual chess tourney being attended by players from 21 African countries. Now the news in detail. President Lazarus Chakwera is scheduled to appear in Parliament Wednesday next week to take questions from members of his state on the nation of address. This has been announced by Speaker of the National Assembly, Catherine Gotanhara. This will be President Jaguera's third appearance to take questions from legislators on matters of national interest. In a communication in Parliament Tuesday morning, Hara further said Minister of Finance Felix Mlusu shall present the 2021-2022 national budget on May 28. Andrew Viano sent us a report. President Razos Chakwera is expected to make a third visit to the August House to answer questions from members of parliament pertaining to his state of national address he made last week. Speaker of the National Assembly, Catherine Gotanihara, announced this today after reconvening of the legislators. Gotanihara said Chakwera is expected in the chamber on May 26th. The Speaker has also announced that all bills that were deliberated and passed in last parliamentary sitting have been assented to by the Malawi leader. Mino Finance Minister Felix Mnusu is expected to present 2021-2022 national budget next week Friday on May 20th and thereafter the House is expected to break for two weeks for cluster committee meetings beginning May 31st. On the opposition Democratic Progressive Party, DPP's leadership in the House, the Speaker says she has received three submissions on possible replacement of Simon Vua Kaunda, who until Supreme Court's nullification of results was chief whip for DPP. She said at an appropriate time she will announce the new DPP chief whip in the House. The current parliament sitting is expected to run through to July 2. The Joint Civil Society Platform for Good Governance has warned that it will, in seven days, seal offices of cabinet ministers that are allegedly involved in the plunder of, the, of part of the 6.2 billion kwacha COVID-19 funds. One of the organizers, Philip Kamangira, says the platform is giving President Lazarus Chakwera one week to fire cabinet ministers involved or face the action. We have a report filed by Western Kuta. The Joint Civil Society Platform for Good Governance organized demonstrations in Lilongwe attracted a sizable number of people. One of the organizers, Philip Gamangira, has said that this is to demand transparency in the way government is handling the mismanagement of part of the 6.2 billion kwacha COVID-19 funds, which some cabinet ministers are allegedly involved but are being protected. He asked that government is applying selective justice, silent while the cost of living is skyrocketing, and wonders why some TOS Alliance youth are receiving security training at the police training school in Salima. We are hopeful that within this period that we have given government, they would be responsible enough to respect the democratic principles whereby when the citizens speak out, the government should listen. But if they do the opposite, we are very sure that we are not going to be quiet. We are going to seal all government. Government offices. One of the Lilongwe City Council officials, Hudson Kumbanga, received a petition on behalf of the Chief Executive Officer. The petition to be delivered today at OBC. The Joint Civil Society Platform for Good Governance includes Center for Mindset Change, Citizen Alliance, and the Civil Society Platform for Constructive Dialogue, among others. For Zodiac, this is Western Guta. Meanwhile, government spokesperson Gospel Gazago has said government does not operate on the basis of automatons and that Malawians should appreciate that the Tonsi government is doing a lot to restore order in the country. He explains. This government doesn't believe in being emotional. At the same time, does not operate on the basis of admittance because we're a government that has capacity and capability to listen to whoever we are governing. We have demonstrated that and we have shown that. But they are free to express their views. You know, we are a very civilized government. We're a government that believes in the rule of law and, of course, participation of its citizens. 
But for us to start taking that items, I think that's not uh, what we have. We have no much appetite to do that. So there's no need for anybody to give us any item. Secondly, on the, the money, uh, you must uh, remember that it is this government that believes so much into accountability and transparency. We don't need anybody to give us any subject in any syllabus on how we should be handling this. It will be a very good idea on their part to actually provide one, the names, the list of names of those cabinet ministers and other public officers that are involved in the abuse and plunder of public resources. I think once that is done, you know very well that different arms of government will certainly take up the matter and do what the law says. Zodiac has established that of the 600 COVID-19 samples that the Minister of Health sent to South Africa early this month only arrived there Monday, 17th May. Director of Public Health Institute Dr. Benson Jilima says the delay is due to logistical hiccups as the samples were sent by road but has assured that the results will be in the country by 27th May. A health rights activist, Maziko Mademba, has warned that the delay in confirming if Malawi has the new strain of COVID-19 will affect the country's preparedness to handle the pandemic. Alina Femlamba has fired this report. We apologize that we'll not be able to give you that report until our next bulletin. Food security has been described as a key component to the achieving of the country's new development blueprint, Malawi Vision 2063, and the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. Minister of Agriculture Lobin Lowe made the remarks in Lilongo Tuesday when he announced planned stakeholder consultations for inputs ahead of the forthcoming new in food system summit scheduled for New York in September. The summit is a call by the UN Secretary General to world leaders and all our or other key food system players, including farmers, to ignite action towards achievement of all the 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. Madeleine Superior with the details. Food systems refer to all of the activities that are involved in the production, processing, distribution and consumption of food. Minister of Agriculture Lobin Lowe believes Malawi's participation at this meeting is beneficial as it will bring together stakeholders, including those that are set on head, especially coming at a time when Malawi has just launched the Malawi 2063 vision to be implemented in the 10-year plans. SDG 1 talks of poverty and the SDG 2 talks of uh, hunger and as a country we have our own vision. One component of the vision is about the agriculture commercialization and productivity. So we want to explore ways and there may be possibility of achieving these uh, SDGs under the Vision 2063. The UN resident representative to Malawi, Jose Maria Torres, agrees that the UN Food Systems Summit will be very crucial to Malawi. It's a global undertaking uh, by the United Nations that is going to dedicate the September meeting to discuss with the member states how we achieve different food systems that really provide food security for the people of the planet. And um, the importance of Malawi in that summit, I mean, I cannot comment enough for having taken up the task because we really need the voice of Malawians in that global fora. And the national consultations on what Malawi should include as issues to be discussed at the global summit will start Wednesday in Lilongwe. There are also dialogues planned to take place in all the regions of the country. For Zodiac, this is Madalito Piri reporting. It's the Malawi University of Science and Technology, MUST, says it has invested 2.6 billion kwacha to support its income-generating activities to achieve economic independence. Speaking on Tuesday after the second graduation ceremony that was presided over by President Lazarus Chakwera, MUST Vice-Chancellor Professor Adris Malata said 1.3 billion kwacha will be used to develop the industrial park where they manufacture soft drinks for sale while the other remaining cash will be under endowment fund to support needy students. Christopher Sunday reports. Professor Adres Malata told President Lazarus Chagwira, graduates and captains in the technology and innovation sector, that the Malawi University of Science and Technology, MASTI, is a solution-based university. She was speaking at a graduation ceremony of 364 students on Tuesday. Professor Malata 
said the university has put aside 2.6 billion kwacha to develop an industrial park where they will be manufacturing soft drinks, juices, water, among others, to have sustainable ways of generating money. 1.3 billion kwacha will be under the endowment fund to support needed students. We want to in put in our our, our graduates, uh, you know, uh, skills for entrepreneurship and innovation, and that industrial park is just being made for that particular purpose. But secondly, the university has also established an endowment fund. This is a new concept where we raise resources, invest the resources over time, and what we use the resources for is pay for students who are very needy, instead of just depending on government who will actually be looking at opportunities for that fund to support students in our own setting here in Malawi. Uh, we are starting with 1.3 billion and we'll grow it over years. And we don't need the principal money, we only need the interest. That interest is what will be used either for innovations, for innovations here, but also supporting needed students. President Chakwera asked the graduates to demonstrate their ability by coming up with innovative interventions to help the country achieve the 2063 national agenda. He added that having such productive citizens can assist the country to create wealth and self-reliance among citizens, unlike the current trend where citizens depend on government aid. President Chakwera said his government delinked the University of Malawi in order to scale up human capital development, promising that he will see to it that universities are adequately supported in the country. Reporting for Zodiac, this is Christopher Sande. You're watching the news on Zodiac. We'll be back after this short break. Stick around. is a punishment for you and you're going to be suffering for the rest of your life i thought you'd married some supermodel who Go TV Mosa Vuta. Just dial star 247 hash to pay your Go TV or DSTV subscription. Standard Bank. It can be. Zira mainitsi ati enem kuyambira 200 kwacha kapena kuposira pa menepo mutha ukhala mmodzi mwa mamilionaire mu TNM Tikolole promotion Kuma muka onjezira ma unit ndi 100 kwacha kapena kuposera apo mudza ndiya ma bonus oyimbira phone SMS kapena data pompo pompo TNM always with you Like every mom, you want the best for your child. Happy birthday. You feed her mind and nurture her body. And you understand there are times you have to let her pick herself up when she falls. You make sure she knows the joy of sharing happy moments with family. And when everything comes together, you above all others will share the taste of success with her. Blue bag tastes like mama's love. Welcome back to the headlines as we continue. President Jekwera is scheduled to appear in Parliament Wednesday next week to take questions on his State of the Nation address. Zodiac establishes that over 600 COVID-19 samples that Minister of Health sent to South Africa early this month only arrived there Monday, 17th May. In four weeks of sales, Malawi realizes 27 billion kwacha after selling 20 million kilograms of all types of tobacco. 
in Sports Malawi hosts African individual chess tourney being attended by players from 21 African countries. Moving on. In business news, in four weeks of tobacco sales, Malawi has realized 34 million US dollars, which is approximately 27 billion kwacha, after selling 20 million kilograms of all types of tobacco. HL spokesperson Teresa Ndanga says the sales so far have surpassed 27 million US dollars, about 21 billion kwacha, realized the same period last year from 17 million kilograms of tobacco. Details in this report filed by Andrew Viano. Earnings from tobacco hit 34 million US dollars, about 27 billion kwacha, by the end of week four of sales after the country sold over 20.1 kilograms at an average price of $1.66 per kilogram, according to figures from AHO Group. The revenue is higher compared to the 7 million US dollars realized during the same period last year. The volume of tobacco traded is so far higher compared to 17 million kilograms of tobacco sold within the first four weeks of trading last year. The average price is also higher than $1.53 the leaf fetched per kilogram last year within the same period. AHO Group spokesperson Teresa Ndanga says sales so far are impressive. Uh, in terms of revenue, we also seem to be doing better this year as compared to last year because at the end of the fourth week, we uh, the country had um, raked in around 34 million US dollars as compared to 27.5 million US dollars uh, during the same period last year. In the 2019-2020 farming season, Malawi sold 113 million kilograms of all types of tobacco, realizing 174 million US dollars, approximately 130 billion kwacha, an amount that economic experts said could not run for a month of import cover. Tobacco remains the country's major foreign exchange earner, but lately it is facing international backlash due to the global anti-smoking campaign. Defense lawyer for former Malawi Defense Force Commander Henry Odilo has applied for an extension of time for oral submissions in a case in which him and three others are accused of paying 2.4 billion kwacha to Tusa Group, a contract that never existed. State lawyer Kamdoni Nyasulu said this Tuesday after the court appearance that the first accused Odilo and second accused Clement Kafua, former deputy MTF commander, have been given seven days to file submissions. On the other hand, the third accused person, David Kandoje, former accountant general, had been given 14 days to file submissions. Chimwemwe Padata reports. Appearing at the High Court in Nilongwe, the defense lawyers asked for the extension of time for oral submissions on grounds they did not have ample time to file the papers. The first and second accused persons, former MDF commander Henry Udilo and second accused Clement Gafua, former MDF deputy commander, have been given seven additional days for final oral submissions while the third accused David Gandoje, former accountant general, has been given 14 additional days. Here is one of the state lawyers, Council Kamdon Nyasulu. They underestimated the amount of work involved. A lot of documentation, a lot of witness statements. So they asked for more time. The first and second accused, uh, uh, Odilo and Kafua, have been given seven days to file their submissions. And uh, Mr. Kandoji, the third accused, has been given 14 days. In the case, the four are accused of paying two billion waja to a firm, Tuso Group, to supply arms in 2013, even though the contract never existed. Now, Judge Redison Gabindo, who is presiding over the case, is yet to determine whether the four accused have a case to answer at a date yet to be said. For Zodiac, this is Chimwemwe Padata. Vice President Dr. Salos Chilima says it's now time for Malawi police and the citizenry to work on mending the relationship which he says has been sour for years. Chilima made the remarks Tuesday in Cheo District when he opened in Sibia police post which has been constructed by the Chinese government. Speaking at the same event, Chinese ambassador to Malawi Liu Hong Yang says that China is committed to work with Malawi government in enhancing its security. Blessings can go on this report read by Tawera Komenda. 
The Vice President, Dr. Saulo Stilema, says sour relationships between police and the citizenry, which has remained for years, does not favor progress of this country. He says it is time for the two parties to begin building a strong relationship. The Vice President took the opportunity to tackle politics. He advised Tonsa Alliance partners to remain united and allow the Chakwera led administration work towards developing the country. Deputy Inspector General of Police responsible for administration, Mary Nyolam, described the construction on Sipe Police Post as timely, saying it is going to cut the distance that over 80,000 residents of three traditional authorities, Champiti, Makwangwara and Kwadaini, used to cover to access justice. In Kosiyama Kosikomani 5 in his speech, was hopeful that the facility will spell an end to alarming cases of defilement. He further called for a holistic approach from all stakeholders to end the vice. Chinese Ambassador to Malawi, Liu Hongyang, says China is interested to help Malawi build its security for it to attract more foreign investors. We now move on to sports. Over 100 players from 21 countries across Africa are battling it out for honours at a seven-day African individual chess tournament which Malawi is hosting in Lilongwe. Speaking at the opening ceremony last night, Minister of Sports Ulim Nsungama said they expect positive results as the country is featuring more players in the tournament. The championship is also being used to select players capable of playing at the World Cup next year. Brad Kanyama has filed a report. Malawi is for the first time hosting the African Individual Chess Championship in Lilongwe, which has attracted athletes from 21 countries across the continent. Malawi is featuring 20 athletes, 10 in the ladies' section and 10 in the men's category. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Minister of Sports Ulimu Sungama encouraged local athletes to aim high and bring positive results at the tournament. This is uh, one of the best events uh, as a government, we should be able to be proud of uh, hosting such a, a, a big tournament, the Chess tournament, where most of the countries are, be, are here in, Af in Malawi. 21 countries coming to Malawi. It's not a mean uh, tournament. So I'm so proud and I'm so happy. African Chess Confederation President Louis Nkube applauded Chess Association of Malawi Chessam for staging what he described as a great opening ceremony last night. This is the first over-the-board event since the pandemic started. And it's actually it's auspicious in that when you look at it being a World Cup qualifier, and it really makes a big, big impact. And also in terms of the image for Malawi chess, it's going to put it up at a very, very high level. Local player Chileto Jipanga promised to do well at the championship. As for me, I'm well prepared since I've been practicing uh, for a month now. So I'm ready to face all these uh, tough guys in this tournament. And uh, I'm promising my, 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 my nation that I will do what is supposed to be done. Actually, I will do better in this tournament because of the organization and everything we have in this tournament. The 2021 Africa Chess Championship is being used as the qualifier for World Chess Championship slated for next year. Over 100 athletes are taking part in the tournament. For Zodiac, this is Bright Kanyama. That's about what we had time for in this news edition. Before we go, another look at the headlines. President Chekwera is scheduled to appear in Parliament Wednesday next week to take questions on his State of the Nation address. Zodiac establishes that over 600 COVID-19 samples that Minister of Health sent to South Africa early this month only arrived there Monday 17 May. In four weeks of sales, Malawi realizes 27 billion kwacha after selling 20 million kilograms of all types of tobacco. In sports, Malawi hosts African individual chess tourney being attended by players from 21 African countries. Visit our website zodiacmalawi.com for more news. My name is Philip Caetano da Costa. Thanks for watching.
If there's one thing that also